Hey everybody, back with another video. I got uh, my bands in to repair the Deco cassette tape player, so I'm going to work on that. But first, I'm actually going to install Dave Widell, I think, or Whittle. I don't know exactly how you say his last name. But install his code on the Darksoft Multi-Kit and see what our results are. And also Dave has, I believe, if we can get it to boot, has the Deco cassette um, test tape ROMs on here. So we should be able to run some test code and uh, test the RAM that's in the system as well. So I'm going to install this, I think one of these, zero, I think it goes here, I'm not sure, or there, not sure. goes in one of those spots. Alright, so for Dave's um, kit, you only have to burn one BIOS, and I believe it goes in the spot. I looked up on the main driver, and it referenced um, the address range that P1 um, has. So, I think it goes right there at L9 or whatever. Um, the other thing I wanted to cover real quick is the dip switches. This is dip switch one. I have the old board set. And one, two, three, four are all for coinage. I don't know if I covered this in my last video. Five and six are supposed to be off, I believe. Um, it has to do with the size of the data tape. And I think what main, the main driver says is the larger tapes were never exported out of, outside of Japan. So in the US, I think five and six are always gonna be off. And then seven and eight should be on. Seven's control panel and eight is screen for upright, or you put both of them down for control panel cocktail and screen cocktail mode. Um, then the next dip switch, uh, number one through five, should be you know unique per game, and um, so each like number of lives is likely number one, and number two is you know difficulty or whatever but there's five per game dip switch settings and then six should be on um, for the US there's different country codes and I'm pretty sure this one had this set to off which should be Japan I think country code A is Japan country code B is the US I believe I don't know for sure um, so I think six should be on, but I'm gonna leave it like that, and then we'll go from there. Let me All put right, it in. Let's the go ahead and power it up. Let's see what we get. Turn off the lights. Nice. It actually fired up. That's good news. Uh, burger time. I don't know if that color, if the color is right or not, but whatever. Um, let's see here. What am I looking for? Test the deco test. Oh boy! I thought it had the test code on it. Burger time, ice cream factory. Shoot. I thought I had, I might, maybe I have to find a different one. Whatever. Let's try burger time. Yep, it works. Um, I don't know what's going on with the colors. That, that looks jacked up. That might be my monitor. Let me see if I got something plugged in wrong. All right, I must have had something plugged in wrong. I don't know, those colors look a little bit better. But why don't I see the test? Oh, whoops.
I don't know. I don't know what you, what game this is. I might have to burn another another ROM. Maybe I have the wrong one. All right, it's playing Burger Time fine, so I, I doubt I have memory issues, but I am discovering some kind of connector issue with my uh, video cable. Like, there we go. That's where it needs to be. So I'm gonna probably clean up those connectors real quick um, and try to burn another of Dave's ROMs that I know in MAME um, I think shows the the test code on there. Okay, so I burned some new ROMs from MAME and no idea if it's going to work. Okay, cool, it works. And there's the test tape as you can see right there. So I actually had the wrong ROM versions and this is definitely different than the other one because there's no little burger time guy um, going, going up and down. Let's see. Alright, cool. Let's go to the test tape. Use the service switch on the PCB to advance the next test dongle version 1.0 okay might need to turn on the damn light the service switch is uh, I think I covered that in my last video it's right on the RSP board I think what board is it on? no the bio board DSP memory test end, but it didn't say whether it was good or not. I don't know if you're supposed to let it run forever. Okay, RMS test ended. Whoops. What the hell does that mean? Bio mem test N four five. No idea what that means. <laughs> I don't think that's good though. So on the bio board, maybe I have some memory issues. D four five zero. Hmm. Would that make sense? No idea. This is some type, well also, um, I, what did I do? I, um, damn it. I, um, desoldered that video okay. connector as well as, oh, there are some weird lines there. That video connector and I cleaned the video connector with a Dremel so it looks like our colors are, are working much better now. I desoldered it, removed it, dremeled it, cleaned it up. CRT test. Do buttons do anything? No. Those might be retrace lines a little bit? No, I don't think so. Dip switch test that's showing you what we're test what we're set to. Alright. I think that's good.
Yeah. It looks like I have some bio, some memory errors in the bio, on the bio board. Don't know. All right, I took out the bio board and I removed these two chips here. I inspected all of the memory, these 4118s. I also have some on order. But I, what I did is I took these two out. They were up here in these locations. Checked the legs and the two that I knew were kind of flimsy. I soldered them and actually soldered a replacement leg on one of them. Yeah, on this one. And put it back in the board and I still had the same error. So then I took the two that were in this location and swapped them. So I swapped the two questionable leg ones that I had that I had repaired and I moved them down here. And let's put it back in the in the um, cage. All right, we're gonna do our test. <clears throat> Wait 10 seconds. So it looks like now my memory's fine, but um, for whatever reason, I don't think the rest of the test looks any different. But just swapping them, oh, did I get a different color than I did last time? Red, green, tan. I still have some weird lines going through here, but that might be a monitor issue. I don't know. But I think all the tests are working now. I mean, they were, this part looked like it was working before, but it could be different colors or something. I don't know. I'm not going to run all the way through the tests, but um, I'm going to basically put Darksoft's kit back in and we'll see if it behaves right. Better. I put the Darksoft back in there, as you can see. That was white before, and now it's yellow, so that's kind of weird. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe that is supposed to be white, but whatever. Let's go to burger time, see if it works. Bam! Is it working? I got burger time. It was just a memory issue. I don't know why my colors are off. But, is that, because it looks a little yellow. But I haven't really messed with the monitor, so. Whoops. It's just that memory. Dang. Alright, I'm gonna pause here because Dark Soft's kit's working. Actually, the other thing that I changed. That's a little loud. <laughs> Let me turn that down a little bit. The other thing I changed that might be diff slightly different from the first time is the dip switches. Um, I have the dip switches only on dip switch one, only six, no, only seven and eight are on, and on dis dip switch two, only six is on. Um, And I wonder if it matters if I choose Japan or US. I don't know if those ROMs matter, whether I should have my country code dip switches set. 
but Lock and Chase was working before as well, but I wasn't able to move my um, joystick, which might have been a control panel dip switch. Oh, yeah, it's working. I don't know why it wasn't working before. It could have been the memory issue. Sweet. Awesome. All right, now I'm gonna work on this tape um, cassette player here, if I can. And I just wanna make sure that I get these connections because I'm gonna have to desolder them back in the right place. So there's two black lines there and I just oming them out there it's connected so I don't have to worry about those and I took a picture my phone here and the brown ones are definitely not tied together so as long as I get those marked I'm gonna mark a little red mark here a red mark there we should be good on that side. And then on this side, we got the two white ones. Those are not connected to each other. And so I need a color. I'm gonna color this one red right here. And that goes over here on this side. And then just take a picture, I guess. Alright, that should be okay, I think. I'm not going to film everything. I'm going to desolder that. I think... Uh, it looks like these blue... These damn blue wires, too, damn it. <laughs> oh my god, what a pain in the ass to get that off of there. So we'll do this this blue wire over here. We'll go on that side. <clears throat> Alright, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get this thing even back together, but if you can see there that is what it is all sticky and gooey i mean i that band just melted and disintegrated now who knows if the heads are working or if anything else is working but i will try to clean that up and put a new band on it mm, dang all right so i had to take off this little spindle here and I think these are called what are these called damn it bumpers or something yeah they're called um, idler tires I guess um, so these are the idlers and this is what they look like uh, they were totally jacked up and look at all this goo that I mean it's all soft and yucky I used um, q-tips and alcohol and basically cleaned up I think I got most of it I could probably do a little bit better job and then I just grabbed some of these which I think are from I think these are actually for hoses these little o-rings this little o-ring package like you put this inside of a hose and I found a a couple that will fit over top of this I don't know if it's going to be good enough um, I'm going to measure with um, I am going to measure actually um, before I uh, fully assemble it just in case I can order some idler tires that would be better but I'm hoping that this will catch enough to, to work um, the tape drive what else did I want to show yeah I think I think that's it I gotta put this put this back on and solder everything back up and also get this on as well one of these all right I think this is gonna work if I can hold the camera here if I'm turning it this way you can see that's turning I don't know how well it's turning it but it's definitely turning it 
with enough friction. And if I turn it this way, what did I call this thing? An idler, idler tire. I mean, it seems like it's working. It's obviously not ideal. Who knows if that will fall off. All right, and then I'll have to take the whole thing apart again, which kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, I was going to measure it, wasn't I? Yeah, let me... Okay, I know I didn't film it. Here I have my little caliper measurement tool, Easy Cal. And the measurement of that idler was 0.315 inches or 8 millimeters in diameter and then it was about 2.55 millimeters thick. Um, but I did reassemble this and it wasn't actually as hard as I thought it was. So I'm going to put this in. I'm kind of excited to see if this thing will work. All right, I have everything plugged in. I know it's kind of hard to see here. Just double checking my work. Got the dongle plugged in. And the tape drive. And I'm just going to leave this kind of like... Let's see if I can get this to stay. Can we see in there good enough? There we go. Alright, let's hit the power button. something going on but my horizontal maybe I need to adjust hmm let me see what's going on with my tape is moving you can see that the tape is definitely moving so it might be loading the game I don't know why my monitor is off but I can see it says data cassette system I don't know why I, all of a sudden my hold is off but maybe eventually it's going to load. Is it still moving? Yep, it's still moving. The tape is still running. I just can't see what the heck it does. It's saying the blue screen and cassette, so it might be doing the countdown. Let me keep messing. Okay, it was just the my cable. I gotta repin that video connector out. It's kind of jacked up. So I got it. It says uh, Deco cassette system, 53 seconds. I'll come back when when it's at five. Oh man, I got to like 51 and it says cassette error 32. That sucks. Oh man. All right, let me look that up. All right, so it says air, cassette error 32 is uh, two and three solutions. Clean tape deck head with alcohol and cotton swab. I already did that or change the cassette tape so that's unfortunate but uh, let me try cleaning it again and see what we get all right let's try it again let's get zoomed in here so you can see the what's going on there you see the idler going back and forth oh it went to 97 96 So it's going further now You can see that right there I don't know what the normal behavior of the tape is If that idler should not be going back and forth or it should so let me come back. Yeah, I got to about 82 and then I got the air again. So I don't know. I don't know if it's the tape that's dirty or, or what, but I'll keep going through it and see if I can get it working. 74. I'm just going to show what it's doing. You can see that. It kind of goes back and forth to idler. Like it's reading and then it goes backwards and then it goes forward. And it goes backwards. Forward. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do. So 
try to get in there as best I can to show you this. But I'm at 69, 68. We'll see if we can make it all the way. At the risk of jinxing it, we're at 43. And going strong, I think. 42. Let's see if we can make it. All right, here we go. I have a lot of light on in here, so for the glare. Let's see if, I don't know what's gonna happen. Three, cross your fingers, two. One, come on. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> if you stop now, come, damn it. What? Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. Is it maybe rewinding it before it starts? Oh my god, it's working. It is working. Holy crap, lock and chase. That is so awesome. The colors look good too. I think the colors look good, I have no idea. Are they supposed to be yellow? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that we got it. Yeah, I think I think when it gets to one, it rewinds the entire tape. Yeah, I can see it. It's, I don't know if you can, because my light's bad, but it rewound the entire tape at one and then started the game. Now, the other thing is, this is an MD. You see that it says MD, it's upside down, tape. And that's why you need dip switch one, five and six off. The ones in Japan were M, uh, Mary Tom, MT, um, three, I guess, or whatever. And then those are, um, need to have those dip switches. But anyway, in the US, it's always gonna be an MD tape if you have a tape and it will be the dip switches five and six will be off on number one. All right guys, I think that's it because mission accomplished. We got the tape working and I can't believe it. It probably takes at least five minutes to, to load the tape the way, I don't know if it's working great. Maybe somebody who has one of these and is watching the video can inform me because, but I'm ecstatic and we got a, you know, fully working, original, lock and chase, deco, with the tape. And I think my monitor, I don't know, the focus, the flyback might be going out on it because I have the focus turned all the way one way, but... Anyway, alright, that's it, guys. More to come on this. This is part three. Cheers.